Damn, I look like burnt toast. Oh my god. What's happening everyone? It's your boy from Source Tech. Hope you're doing well. Welcome back to Setup Wars episode 255 budget edition. That's right, we're looking at some more awesome budgets. So sit back and relax and let the Setup Wars begin. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to take a break from what you're doing right now. Listen up because I got some pretty exciting news from today's sponsor, Raid Shadow Legends. You know, the game that everyone has been playing, the game that lets you collect over 500 champions and gear up with hundreds of artifacts to go up against giant raid bosses, dungeons, and even fight other players in the arena. But here's the real exciting news, you guys. Raid just released a brand new legendary champion designed after the popular streamer Ninja. He's a part of the new Shadowkin faction and wields both a katana and a bow and arrow. Pretty badass. What I love about Raid Shadow Legends is the summoning at the tavern. I always get excited when I pull in new champions because it means that I get to build stronger, more optimized comps for specific areas of the game. Speaking of champions, everyone gets the new ninja champion for free, but he's only available until October 15th. He's a super limited edition champion that won't be available once the event is over, so you definitely want to start playing soon. Raid is always adding tons of new content to the game. In fact, they have a non-stop schedule of summer events and activities like special fusion events to get a brand new legendary champion, tournaments against other players, and much more. They even released another set of five amazing new champions and each of them looks pretty damn dope. So if you guys want to help support the channel and get a huge head start in Raid, then make sure to click the link down below or you can scan the QR code listed on the screen which will get you a free epic champion Chonoru. She's amazing for Doom Tower. You also get 200,000 silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get in the game. All the treasure will be waiting for you here in your inbox. Kicking off the episode is Erafino coming all the way from Indonesia. What is going on, my guy? He is currently a student, which means he's on a tight budget, of course. And with a tight budget, he had to be careful on where most of the money gets spent. I've seen so many people drop their entire budget on the gaming PC, leaving next to nothing for the rest of the gear. So then they end up with a beefy system with a 60 Hertz gaming monitor and cheap gaming peripherals. It's all about balance. I can say with confidence that Aerofino took the balanced approach with a single 24 inch monitor that he mounted beautifully against the wall with a monitor light right above that which also frees up extra space from the desk. At first I thought he mounted a PS4 on the wall next to the monitor but turns out it's just a shelf that he made himself to help store a few things. Moving on to peripherals, you went with the wireless route with the budget Microsoft keyboard and mouse combo. We also have a Soul Ultra gaming headset that he keeps underneath the desk. In terms of input, we do have a microphone setup as well with the Taft Studio mic and boom arm combo. And since he does use a setup for online schooling, he does have a webcam. But since the top of the monitor is occupied, he has the webcam hooked up to a mini tripod. Looks like one of the raceways fell down underneath the desk, but that's a very simple fix. The rest of the cable management, however, is perfect. The PC powering the setup is a custom build featuring the i3-10100F quad-core processor with 16 gigs of RAM and the PowerColor RX 570. That's what I like to see, a budget gaming PC that is balanced with the rest of the setup. Thank you, Erfino, for sharing this with us. Here's another perfectly balanced setup from Grant. He's also a student from Portland, Oregon, but he also works part-time at a hardware store. It took him about eight months to save up and build this setup from scratch for gaming, schoolwork, and a bit of editing as well. He was able to fit everything on the IKEA Alex desk, but one of the drawbacks with this desk is that it doesn't have any thin edges, so mounting anything to it, like monitors for example, is impossible. However, Grant took another approach as he went with the Wally Free standing mount instead, which basically just sits on the desk, acting as counterweight for both of his monitors. In fact, they even have one for triple monitors as well. So if you guys are in a very similar situation and you can't mount things to your desk because of how thick it is, you can always go with these types of mounts instead. I'll drop a link below if you want to check it out. It looks like he even mounted the boom arm holding his microphone to the monitor mount itself. Grant has definitely thought of everything. We got the glorious Model D in black and the GK61 keyboard with a beautiful keycap set that matches the mouse pad very nice. 
I also love the detail to the speakers to the sides to optimize space on the desk without affecting the audio. But he does own a pair of SteelSeries Arc 7s as well that he keeps in front of his PC. One of the cool things about this desk is the dedicated cable drawer in the back, allowing for easy cable management in addition to the two holes in both corners underneath the desk making the routing seamless. And while I was down here, I noticed that he attached a MacBook underneath here as well, with just three tiny metal pins holding it in place. Wouldn't that scratch your MacBook every time you pull it in and out, not to mention how easily it could fall off if inserted the wrong way. I get that this is a budget edition and you want to save money, but I would strongly recommend spending a few bucks more and picking up an actual laptop drawer to protect your investment. Finally finishing up with the custom PC inside the H510 case. We have the Ryzen 5 1600 and the XFX RX 5500 XT. Very balanced specs with the 165Hz gaming monitor. There were some questionable decisions, but overall a very solid and complete budget setup. Thank you Grant for sharing. Taking the word budget quite literally, we have Andre's setup up next. He's an architect from the UK that built this setup because he needed a place for himself. He currently uses it for gaming, working, and chilling. This is also his very first setup that took him about six months to complete. The first thing that caught my attention were those custom DIY hexagon panels that cost him only $25 to make. I'm not sure what material it's made out of, but he ended up running a Govi RGB strip through them and it looks really cool all lit up. The setup is also laptop powered. He's got a single 24 inch MSI monitor hooked up to his Lenovo Idea laptop. I love that he used a couple of Stormtrooper bookends to hold up the laptop. It's such a pretty clever way to add a bit of personalization and function to the setup as well. We can kind of see him incorporate the Stormtrooper theme in other areas of the setup like the soundbar where he added some stickers. We got the Darth Vader controller holder and even some of the keycaps from the keyboard. He did take the more difficult approach for the cable management, but everything is managed underneath the desk, so I can't really complain. He didn't have much room to work with here, but he did such a great job keeping everything very organized while sticking to a symmetrical layout. Andre might not have much, but I'm really impressed at what he achieved on such a tight budget. I will love to see more setups like this on the show. Thank you, Andre, for sharing this with us. Coming in at number four is Nicholas from Hessen, Germany. And I know you guys are thinking, why is this dude in the budget edition with triple monitors? Well, that's because this is where most of the budget went to. Nicholas built the setup for quite a few things, from gaming to streaming, editing videos, and even programming. He does the gaming on the middle 144Hz monitor, while the other two outer displays are for work and multitasking. All the monitors are perfectly aligned and mounted against the Kronos desk, which looks pretty cool. I love the modern look with the glossy surface. It even has a backboard to hide the cables in the back. Nice. Moving on to peripherals, we got the Hurricane keyboard and G502 Hero mouse combo, and it looks like he did in fact drill a hole in the desk to route both cables. For audio, he does have multiple sources. We got the Lioncast headphones that he keeps underneath the desk, and a set of Logitech Z120 speakers underneath the monitors. As far as audio input, he does have a Tonar mic hooked up to a boom arm perfectly balanced on the left side, so when he's not using it, he can just tuck it away. He did state that he streams four times a week on Twitch with his custom PC that also happens to be inverted, which makes sense because it is on the left side of the desk. We got the Ryzen 5 3600 and the NVIDIA GTX 970 in here. Not bad. Okay, so I think the setup looks incredible, but there are just a few things that could be tweaked to improve. First and foremost, I don't have anything against people putting icons on a desktop, but when you start to have that many, it kind of takes away from the aesthetics. Speaking of which, I can't help but feel very bothered by the missing acoustic panel on the right side. It just seems incomplete. And finally, I've mentioned this a million times before, but if you were to diffuse those LED lights, they will look a thousand times better. If you want to know how it's done properly, check out my video link below. But yeah, like I said, with some minor tweaks, this setup can improve, but it's a sick setup nonetheless. Thank you, Nicholas, for sharing. Wrapping up the episode is the cleanest setup from season five so far, which I guess doesn't really say much since we're only five episodes in, but still, damn, look at that execution. This is Sergi's setup from Germany, and the sole purpose of it is for CAD and entertainment. Just look at how he made a custom headboard out of some type of straw material. And when combined with the lighting, it just adds this super cozy vibes to the setup. Both the ultra wide and the speakers are mounted against the custom headboard, and right above that, he installed a wall shelf holding up a few IKEA plants and Funko Pops for a bit of decoration. 
I just love how the colors are so consistent throughout the setup, you know, from the headboard to the wallpaper of the monitor and even the desk with the desk mat. Can't say I'm surprised to see a wireless keyboard and mouse. I love the commitment to the clean and minimal theme here. I just feel like adding a wire in this setup would be catastrophic. The setup is powered by a PC, but unfortunately I didn't get any specs for it, but the PC is also hooked up to a Plex server in the entertainment area where he has a giant 82 inch TV from Samsung. We are still seeing the same straw material carry over into the entertainment area as well, which means that the TV stand and the built-in shelf is most likely custom made. Again, I love seeing creative stuff like this on the show. With the thousands of people watching these videos, it will eventually inspire someone else to do the same or something similar for their own setup. Such a refreshing submission. Thank you, Sergi, for sharing the setup with us. And I'm sorry if I butchered your name. As a reminder, you guys can always pick up a cheap Windows CD key for less than $15. Just click on my link below and use the code TS20 for an extra 20% off. Once you get your CD key, just visit the activation settings in Windows and change your product key. It's that simple. And that is it for today's video. As always, make sure you guys comment below and let me know which of these budget setups was your absolute favorite. And if you guys are enjoying the new season, as always, let me know by dropping a like before you head out. And if you're new here, consider subscribing because I do host Setup Wars every single Monday. Hopefully we'll make your Mondays a little bit better. Thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.